Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is me Omar, your host of Triple A TV and today what we're going to see is Skype for Business versus Microsoft Teams as Skype for Business is moving towards shifting to Microsoft Meetings but if someone doesn't want that to happen if you are seeing some message here and it's saying uh, meet teams now shift to teams and you don't want to do that you can still use the basic or the um, original version Skype only you can use Skype you can use both parallel as well so let's see how we can going to do that first of all if you are here don't worry you can log in office.com or what you can do is you can go on this link uh, your dashboard you can put the link here and directly go on this link teams admin.teams.microsoft.com uh, you can see same information is being shown here um, all you need to do is you need to click here organization wide settings yes this is the tab where you can select how do you want to see your Skype for business either you want to see in the form of Microsoft meeting or you want to see uh, both you can use both parallel as well or you want only and only Skype for business external access yeah uh, you can allow external external access from your organization or disallow it you can allow access users or no uh, guest users you can then select team settings uh, you can select multiple you have multiple controls over here Dropbox Google Drive file shares some people don't want a uh, file to be shared among their peers or uh, from your uh, presenter to the participant you guys can check this option here yeah? or Skype for Business in intro uh, show teams chat in Skype for Business intro okay if you don't want uh, people to chat according, during your meeting you can select this option as well or go there uh, teams upgrade now this is the thing I would like to discuss with you guys team upgrade uh, if someone just wants Skype for business you need to select deprecated from here uh, coexistence mode coexistence mode all right you can have both you can use uh, islands which is Skype for business and team apps or you can use Skype for business only or you can use the legacy one so it depends on you what you want to select let's say if I want only want Skype for business and I want save setting so it will not take me towards uh, Microsoft Teams so that's what I wanted to show you and then of course you can close it uh, and you can sign it again on your Skype for business from here and it will not go to uh, Microsoft Teams you will stay here and you can do all the controls which you were used to do before it is very helpful uh, if you have any questions related to Skype for business let me know I'll try to answer them cheers thank you very much bye bye